So part two of this tutorial is decorating our little booklet. If you missed the making of the basic structure of the booklet, go ahead and check out part one. I'm going to leave the details below. Let's move on to decorating. Now the first thing I want to do is ribbons. So I want you to grab, uh, I'm trying to bust through my stash of ribbons. I used to work at a craft store and I bought spools for like 10 cents. So as you can imagine, I have kajillions and kajillions of ribbons that I don't use and I really need to use them. So if you have lots of ribbon, go ahead and grab some ribbon so you can bust through that stash. If you don't, uh, use paper or use washi tape, whatever works for you. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put something here on the spine and I thought a color blue would be nice. I've got two here. So uh, I was thinking that one looks good or I also quite like this. So I might go ahead and just use this one. Uh, the next thing we need to do is if you open up your booklet, we are going to need a second piece of ribbon here on the top. And I've chosen this really pretty green pastel picking up from the green of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece. And once again, just add that to the top here. What I do is, I'm just going to go over the fold. I am going to add this little piece here. Make sure it's flush with my paper. Add a paper, add a, my paper clip, my bulldog clip. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish adding the glue. I'm using the art glitter glue. I like this stuff because um, it dries straight away. Like once, you, know, you need to be quite quick to put it in place, but I can just continue on with my project instead of waiting for the glue to dry and the slippy and the slippering and avoid the slippery paper syndrome. Um, you know, when things, you get things just right, and then after a while you see that they've moved out of shape because you've moved the paper, or you haven't left enough time to dry. That's a pet peeve of mine, so I do like Art Glitter Glue because it catches straight away, and it's really strong, and it works with paper, and it works with ribbon and fabric and whatnot, so um, I really don't have to hold it very much in place because it's pretty much dry. All right, so you've done one for the front cover, one for the top here. You're gonna need one more for uh, this area here. So we're gonna put one here to cover up that. And I'm just gonna use this really nice beige ribbon. So with this one, what I want you to do, I'm just gonna come in a little bit closer to show you. So you're gonna put it right on the edge so this flap is not put down yet. You're gonna put it right on the edge so it is pretty much in the center of the pocket here and that it's not touching where the spine bends but pretty much close, close to it, all right? And that is the first stage of decorating your booklet. So that's all the ribbons done. Now let's go ahead and decorate the front cover. I thought I'd show you just really quickly the difference that ribbons can make. These are the three papers that I chose and the three booklets that I'm making. Um, this is the one that we just made here with that blue spine. Um, this is this color. So if I just open that to show you what that one looks like. This is this color paper. I used a yellow ribbon for the spine, and then I used a purple ribbon at the top there, and a beautiful muted yellow, pale yellow on the inside, and that's how that looks. 
I'll show you with this one. For this one I used a lace similar to this one here, a really wide one, so what I did is I just uh, cut half of it and used half on the spine here. This is that paper, if you remember, it uh, we didn't cut off the edge and so it left a little bit of a difference between the back page and the front page and I said to you that we were going to fix that later. All you need to do is go ahead and with a similar type of lace or another ribbon if you like, go ahead and put a bead of glue down here and then just adjust your ribbon so that it comes up to meet this edge to cover the difference and uh, you have that pretty little edge look and I think it's most effective. So when a mistake happens or there's something that you don't like, something doesn't line up, try to think of another way to celebrate your mistake and uh, it usually turns out even better than you expected. So uh, this is the cover of this one and when you open up on the inside, once again I took the inspiration from the colors on the inside. I used a black scalloped rib uh, ribbon and then on the inside here, I just put this pretty beige with white to pick up the lace kind of look. And on, on the back here, I did decide to add a little bit of a ribbon here. I didn't do that with my original. So, you know, sometimes you, as you repeat your project, you start changing things. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do that with my original. It just looks pretty much seamless unless you put something in there. Um, with, with adding a ribbon, it really defines that there's a pocket there. So I'll leave that to you to decide whether or not you want to do that. <clears throat> so uh, let's go ahead now and and uh, work on uh, work on decorating the front cover of this. Now for the front cover, I'm going to use a few things. I'm going to grab some vellum. I'm going to grab some uh, doily and I'm also going to grab some scrap pieces of paper. Now, if you're using a collection, it's best to use the uh, scrap papers from that collection because the colors will always match. So I don't have much of this collection left because I used um, the entire pages for making the three booklets. But I do have a little bit here that kind of match. This is a leftovers. Uh, this is not from this collection, but it matches the pink from this collection. This is <clears throat> yeah, Simple Stories Bliss here. And if not, you can always go with cardstock. This is such a great color. The craft cardstock goes with anything you use. <clears throat> You're also going to need um, a few maybe uh, veneers or some buttons. We'll see how we go and how we decorate the front. So the first thing I want you to do is cut your your vellum to let's say three inches by five and a half. So three inches wide by five and a half inches high. Okay, so you've got your vellum cut at three inches wide by five and a half inches high, and that's just gonna fit just about nicely there. The next thing you need is a doily. And uh, doilies come in all kinds of sizes. <clears throat> I have a whole pack of them here. Um, sometimes uh, you can get packs of different shapes. And sometimes you have doily die cuts that, make, that you can use to make your own doilies. Uh, you can you know, do, do whatever you like. Um, I am just going to choose um, just a normal white one for now. Do this one, this one, this one. This one's just a little bit smaller, so I might do this one. So, let's see if we want to put it. I'm not going to glue anything down. I'm just sort of looking um, at how I like it. The next thing I want you to do is grab that little piece of scrap paper from your collection. And this is going to be two and a half inches wide by five and three quarter inches. And what I want you to do is score it at four inches. Right, so, just like that. And this is going to be a little pocket that we are going to put in the front here. And you can now decide whether you want this edge or if you want it this way. 
And I like this way because it's got a little bit of green and it shows the green around here. Um, the next thing I want to do is I just want to put a hole here and just put a little bit of some string. And I do like that green that's showing through and I do like, I was going to put this gold through, but I sort of really do like this green that's holding the gold, so I might take some of this instead. I love how these happy accidents happen. That's how it's going to start. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do make a little tag here that just goes in here. Um, this is a little, uh, like almost ticket style. On, and then there's a little tag here. That's what I did. So go ahead and grab your scrap piece of paper one more time. We're going to turn this piece of scrap paper into a ticket. Um, so this is two and a half inches high by one and three quarters inch wide. Now, um, sometimes what I do is I use my hole punch to create a little bit of a um, an edge there, but sometimes it doesn't look really good. So what I try to do is I kind of sort of do that. Sometimes that looks good. And if I get a good one, what I end up doing is I use this to kind of copy so that they all look the same. So these are my tickets. Now if you have a look here, this is my little prototype. Um, I've got a little bit of uh, like ledger paper there. So what you can do is really anything you want to. If you've got a little bit of paper, uh, lined paper, you can put some lined paper on this way. You can grab some lined paper. I have uh, just this uh, little pad here that has lined paper plus graph paper or whatever. Um, everything and anything works. So I'm just going to grab one of these, and your size needs to be one inch wide by one and three quarters. And last of all, we need just to put a little bit of something cute here. So go to your sticker page now. This is where your sticker page shines in all its glory. Grab one of these cute little ones here, or like this one, or like this one. And you're going to add it to the corner, and you're done. So we're going to do that one, and we are going, maybe I'll do this one, to show you, you know, how different it could look. Brilliant. Now the next thing you need to do is we need to put a hole. So let's put a hole here. Um, next let's move on to the little tag here that I've got. I've used this color and once again what I'm going to do is I am, uh, and I want you to experiment with this one. So you see here how there's a little bit of gold foil. So, I have grabbed a little bit of metallic paper here. I am going to uh, cut one inch off. All right, so we're gonna do one inch and uh, I'm going to do maybe half an inch here. Uh, a little bit smaller than that. So, if we, and this is, you know, go by what you like. If you wanted a thick one, go ahead and do a thick one. If you just want a thin strip of gold, do a thin strip. So I'm somewhere between half an inch and three quarters of an inch and I'm cutting that much off. Okay, and I do like this. So you can leave it just like this or you can have a play, pull out some metallic paper, some glitter paper, um, some vellum. I also have this. I was going to try some of this acetate with uh, a gold foil. I thought that would look really pretty. Yeah, that looks great. So go ahead and do play with that and do add just a, 
different, a second color to do it a two-tone. So you've got this, and then you've got this, and that's your little tag. I'm going to go ahead and grab a really pretty string. I've got a gold one here. Sword joy. That's how I'm feeling today. It's raining in Perth, and so I'm really happy that it is. Uh, we've had such devastating bushfires in Australia and also in my community, just north in Lancelin, and so I'm just hoping that this rain just soaks into the earth and gives some much needed relief to everybody who's been touched by it. Right, so I love that. I'm just leaving that so that um, I'm going to stick it once my vellum's down. I'm going to go ahead and stick everything now. front page decorated. No, we're not done yet because there's one more element. There's always one more element, right? So uh, grab a button or one of your wood veneers. I have many to choose from here. Many thanks to a beautiful friend who uh, sent me these from Dezo. Thank you, thank you. I think it was Samantha. This was you. Um, look at this. Perfect colors are perfect. Or that one. You can always do hearts, but I don't want to do hearts. I want to do, yes, this is it. You just know, you just know. That one fits perfectly. Could go, oh. Gorgeous. So we're going to go with my first one. Uh, what I do want to do is perhaps thread one of these through. All right, now I can say it's done. There's a little button with a little bit of a string there, and then there's a large tag with some a large pocket with some little tags to go in there, and that is the front decorated. Now let's move on to the inside. Mm -hmm. 